And today we released 50,000 50, young coho salmon, which my senior biology students have raised. They fed them five times a day for the last number of months. They've increased their body weight about five times, and we just released them along about four and a half, five miles of the Fish Trap Creek. That flows into the Nooksack River and out into Bellingham Bay. These are the coho salmon, which are native to this area, and uh, we've picked that particular species because it isn't one that belongs here. Uh, a large number of them, of course, are not going to make it. They're going to be eaten by every other animal along the way. But hopefully three years from now, we're going to see a few of those fish come back. Uh, that's, we've been doing this now for about 35 years. The students have built this hatchery, and we've operated as a class. And over that time, we've seen many, many fish come back. Hopefully, at some point in time, uh, the riparian zones are going to be secure enough and good enough that we're not even going to need hatcheries at all. So our goal eventually is to return this all to the wild salmon and that we're trying to be part of that project.